Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Security breach at gate three. Intruder has been located in the north quadrant and is moving in the direction of the underground base. All units prepare to engage. Emergency battle formations. Standard battle procedures initiated. Locate and stop the intruder from entering the security area. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. <laughs> that was all too easy. Let's take a look at what my grandfather was working on. A top secret military weapon. The military shut down the research because they feared it. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Shore. I talk about role play games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure 2. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we finished off the hero story and I did that I did that a lot quicker than I thought I would, uh, which is super cool. And in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start off the dark story with the first level with Dr. Eggman here. Uh, each of the characters in the hero story has their own counterpart. Sonic was a speed character, and uh, Shadow is going to be our speed character for this story. Uh, of course, Tails was the mech character, and we have Dr. Eggman as our mech here. And then Rouge, we're gonna get to see, uh, we're gonna get to play as her uh, a little bit later down the line as our treasure hunter character. Uh, this first level is super cool, and it is very much both. You know, gameplay-wise and tonally different from the first level of the hero story. Whereas, the first level of the hero story, you know, we're playing as Sonic, we're having a fun time going down, you know, going through the city, listening to, listening to some awesome, you know, hip, I don't know if hip is the right word, but some cool, energetic music, and just having a fun time all around. This is very slow, methodical, and it feels like, you know, it... I don't know if darker is the right word, uh, but it feels uh, much less upbeat and less happy than the first level of he the hero story. Uh, speaking of Dr. Eggman, kinda, I realized that in my first five episodes of this series, I kinda just, because I did all of those in one recording session, I kinda was just... I was super pumped about the Let's Play, obviously, and so I kind of just started a lot of thoughts and didn't really finish them. So I'm gonna try to be. I'm gonna try to start trying to think of what I'm gonna say before I start saying it, so that you guys can watch me, you know, ex fully express a normal thought, which you know should be typical for people. But I don't know. I just have a hard time communicating my thoughts. Uh. Right here is a super cool part. Can't get through those doors. So how else are we going to get through them but with a missile? And I believe... Yep, end of the stage. Wasn't so difficult. So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. Oh, oh. 
are you trying to spoil my plans again? Wait a minute. You're not Sonic. This is impossible. My name is Shadow. Since you were so kind to release me, my master, I will grant you one wish. Now what? Behold the true power I possess. This is Scorpion Troops Hotshot. Enemy movement has been detected. En route to intercept and destroy. Copy that. This is Hotshot. Our first boss battle is kind of a mirror to uh, Bigfoot from the hero story. Uh, just defeat it the same way you would. When it comes around, jump on the boxes and you know try to jump at it. If it lands, just whoop. Just jump at it like that. Don't even homing attack it. Attack it right there. Ah, oh, I totally should have gotten that one. All right, down to one hit left. Takes a turn right here, and this should be the end. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> Pathetic humans. Destroying that guard robot was spectacular. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark? Okay, for getting that very weird noise that we're hearing right now at the start of the level, uh, that's this turtle thing over here. Go ahead and kill these robots so that A, that noise can stop, and B, the turtle can bring us over to the uh, next part of the level. We've entered our first Rouge stage, and uh, yeah, it's got some pretty good music, just like Knuckles' stage. It's a very different vibe, of course, because, you know, thematically and just personality-wise and just in general, both Knuckles and Rouge are two very different characters. Uh, but we're starting to see some overlap between the stories. One thing that you'll sort of notice is that if I had to put it into words, the dark side of the dark side in Sonic Adventure 2 is like the first half of the story and the hero side is the second half of the story. Uh, because as we'll go along, we'll see that you know, very late parts of the game will be happening in very, at the same time as very early parts of the hero story. Uh, 
But yeah, we're seeing some overlap there with uh, Knuckles' story, and I just realized that I was just talking about how I was going to start finishing my thoughts, but just then I forgot to finish my thought earlier about Eggman. The reason I said earlier about speaking about Eggman is that in a previous video, I actually might finish this level before I even finish my thought, uh, I was talking about Eggman's name and like how over the time, over time, his name has sort of, you know, become a weird, I don't know, I mean, I guess people do fight over what his name is, uh, but you know, we've sort of got a concrete answer, Butterfly's Treasure, but yeah. I guess I won't really be able to finish my thought during this level, but next level, I'll definitely finish that. Uh, so, a high place. Thank you very much. It's beeping. Is it over here, maybe? What do you have to say? Center of the ring in the sky above the small oasis. Center of the ring, sky. Oh, there we go. I saw it for just a second. It kind of popped in there. I got it. It's all too easy for me. That fire is very loud. Anyway, our first mech stage, and this is, no, not first mech stage, our stage, our second mech stage, uh, and this is probably one that I might die on because obviously since we're playing through a different story, we don't have the same upgrades that we did previously, and I, whenever I play through mech stages in SA2, I always like to, uh, I like to use the hover ability a lot, I forget what it's called, like the jet booster. I forget exactly what it's called, but whatever the hover ability is, that's something that I always like like to use a lot, and it sort of becomes a crutch, so just until we get that, there might be parts where I die during these Eggman next stages. Speaking of Eggman, his name has kind of been changed and debated about over the years, because when the first Sonic the Hedgehog game came out in 1991, in Japan, he was called Dr. Eggman, and all all of his different robots and mechs were based around that name, like the Egg Crusher, I think that was the name of one? He also has like three fire-based mechs, and the point is, all of his mechs and robots and stuff like that had egg in them somehow, like the Death Egg, but uh, in the US, his name was changed to Dr. Robotnik, and all of his, uh, the name of his specific brand of robots is called the Badniks, based off of, of course, that name, Robotnik. Uh, and so I'm sure a lot of people who grew up in the early 90s or even the late 90s uh, knew him by uh, Dr. Robotnik, because that's what he was called in all the American uh, TV shows and the comic books for a little while, and uh, eventually in Sonic Adventure, in the English dub of that game, there is a point where Sonic makes uh, Dr. Eggman like a nickname for him to make fun of his weight, and then in Sonic Adventure 2, uh, he starts calling himself Eggman. And so that's sort of how they wanted to mesh that together. And in Sonic Frontiers recently, uh, Eggman even uh, reconfirms this by stating that his real name is Robotnik, but he used to, uh, but because he was called Eggman by Sonic, he decided to, you know, take that name and, you know, turn it into a thing where it's like, well, you can't use it to make fun of me if I use it myself. 
And then Sonic Origins came out, and a lot of, like, a lot of lore nerds on Twitter, uh, I mean, I know I'm a huge nerd for the lore and stuff like that, but a lot of people kind of got upset at Sonic Origins because it kind of retconned a few things, but one thing that I'm very confused about is, uh, in that game, or at least in the description on Steam, uh, they call him Eggman, so I don't know if they're trying to retcon his name to have always been Eggman, but it's weird because Sonic Origins came out first. Maybe they just did that because, I don't know, because he usually, uh, he usually is called Eggman and they just didn't want to confuse people who were new to the series or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, people will always have a preference to what he's called. I always switch between the two. I'll probably just say Eggman because A, that's the one that usually comes to mind first and you know, B, that's what he's called in this game even by himself. So yeah, and from Sonic Adventure 2 and beyond, I'll call him uh, Dr. Eggman and pre-Sonic Adventure 2, I'll call him Dr. Robotnik. Uh, but yeah, here's the end of the stage. Yosh. I should have tried a little harder. With the Chaos Emerald in the Space Colony Ark. Hmm. I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing the that was Chaos stolen Emerald? was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for more, more details. Like the work of Shadow. How pathetic. Find them before they escape! Maria! What? Shadow, I beg of you. Please, Maria. do it for me. For all the people on that planet. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. I still remember what I promised you. For the people of this planet, I promise you. Revenge! Radical Highway, Stage 04. Our first Shadow stage, and it's super cool. This is probably one of my favorite stages in the game. So Shadow, instead of having Sonic's famous speed shoes, he instead has these, like, hover boots. Uh, hover boots is the name of the item from Zelda, but, you know, you get it. They're kind of like roller skates, but instead of having wheels, they, like, float above the ground with these rockets. Uh, I'm sure there's an official name for these shoes somewhere, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, this stage is one that I always get confused with, uh, at least naming-wise, I always get confused with Speed Highway from Sonic Adventure 1. Uh, and, and I'm pretty sure at some point during my Sonic Adventure 1 Let's Play, I accidentally called uh, Speed Highway Radical Highway. Just because Radical Highway is such a more interesting name than Speed Highway. At least to me it is. Spin dashed right into that one. Uh, 
Well, I completely messed that one up. My bad, everyone. I am just not doing the best at this today, apparently. Let me go ahead and just kill this other robot, too. So Shadow the Hedgehog is an interesting character, because after this game, he appeared in a lot of other games, and he even got his own spin-off game that uh, didn't do so well critically. And, you know, I can't say anything about my own opinion on the game because I haven't played it. Uh, oh hey, there's Big the Cat. But, you know, uh, it just doesn't seem like something I'd like, and a lot of people didn't really like it either, so I don't know if I'll actually get around to playing it. Uh, but again, you know, I haven't played it, so I can't give an opinion on it. I wonder if... Because there was Amigo Lane right there. I wonder if there are any references or, like, weird notes that I could... Ah, crap. No. Hey, I totally should have lived there. I must have fallen in between the one spot... Like, because that, there was like a gust of wind there that was supposed to hold me up so I didn't die. I must have, knowing me, had such bad luck that I fell the w in the one spot where the death plane was just right there. So, yeah, that's, I probably should have, I was thinking just as I jumped, I probably should wait for a second because it's probably going to put its electric shield up, but... Today is just not a good day. Uh, don't know how I did that. I probably should have rail grinded down the sides of the bridge there. That would have been a bit cooler, but you know. But yeah, I, I love the controls for uh, Sh Sonic and Shadows stages. Uh, they're very fluid and you know fun to go through. I don't know if this is just a weird placebo thing or whatever but for some reason uh, shadows controls feel like more fluid than Sonic's and I don't know if that's just a thing of me like seeing on screen that he has these like floaty shoes and to me and that just makes my brain think that they're more fluid or something like that because uh, that's probably happened in tons of games to me I can't think of an example right off the top of my head but uh, let me know if there's an example of that for you guys in the comments below. I love those parts where you like go along the side where the street kind of goes like this right here where it's uh, where you're like running on the side of a wall it looks like. Ow. I don't know why I said ow. It's not like I got hurt. My arm was kind of resting up against my, or pushing up against my desk, so maybe that's why I said ow. I don't know. I just made the first noise that I could think of when I died there. Okay, let's actually properly do it this time. There we go. Now I don't have to deal with annoying platforming. There's Knights, by the way, over there on the left. Uh, he also made an appearance in Sonic Adventure 1. He's another Sega property that I don't know too much about. In between my Sonic Adventure 1 and Adventure 2 Let's Play, uh, I still don't know anything about Knights, so my apologies on that, I guess. Maybe if they ever release a Sonic Adventure 3, I'll actually have played Knights by then. Here we go! <laughs> I love how you could see that Shadow bumped into the wall right there at the end. Maybe I didn't try hard enough. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos? 
control! To war in shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life form. There's no time for games. Farewell. Good. Shadow. What is he? This is Rouge. I've located Eight Man's base and will proceed to enter it now. <sighs> I hate to say it. I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. Well, I don't want to deal with this right now, so I'll go ahead and leave this for tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on and go through this level. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Whoops. <laughs>